All right, we're doing a, a stunt here. He's flying a plane. This could be really bad. He told me to stay still, stay right in front of him. I think he's gonna fly at my head. But you guys are gonna see it. Dude, don't hit somebody. That's too risky, man, the the, uh, the wind currents. Whoa! I fished this like 20 bucks. Oh my God! He almost killed somebody. He almost hurt him. Damn, that was close. All right, this TTO2 caught my eye. It's a TTO2R. You guys know I'm been a Tamiya kick for, for a while here. But look at all the aluminum bits on this thing. Freaking looks awesome. And this is like the rally one, so it's a little bit higher. I like that. I'm not gonna lie. Ooh, I gotta get. I still have the uh, CCO1 in my office that isn't done, but that's a beautiful car. Comes with a sweet body too. Check it out. The GT, the Ford GT, Fortech just hanging out. Looks like he was probably driving it. All right, we gotta. I'm on a I'm on a mission here. We gotta go do something. So I want a trailer. We got that trailer right there, which I already know what he wants for that one. And then there's another trailer over here that we're gonna take a look at. This one has a. Oh dang it! He's already pulling it back. He's already pulling it back. Oh no! He's just pulling back the body. What we got over here? There's a the trailer. All right, we're gonna ask him about that trailer. Hey, Mark. Looks good. How's it going, bud? How are you, sir? Guys, we got drifters out here. They are drifting. I saw this car drifting a second ago. He was drifting. Look, drag car. Oh, okay. I saw this car drifting a second ago. It looked pretty sick. Let's see if he can do it. Can you drift that one? Oh, it looks so sweet. Dang, that's a lot of control. I would have hit me. That's pretty good. Drifting is so much fun. I used to have a drifter. It was the uh, that AE86 Corolla. Man, this guy actually knows how to drift, though. You can tell. That is so cool, guys. I think a drift car is coming to the channel in the near future. There's another one. Look Dude. at this thing. Golly. That's a lot of stuff going oh, on. Oh, well, that's why you're doing it so well, because you're cheating. Yeah, I know it's a real drive. <laughs> I'm just joking. It's a, it's a real drive, they're not the one. It's got a gyro. I mean, you want to try it? Yeah, I want to try it. <laughs> Go ahead. So it's not, I'll make it look easy. <laughs> it's, not, it's not very easy. <laughs> Heinz isn't a very good driver, though. I'm just joking. <laughs> look at the steering. Look how much the steering throw is on this thing. I mean, it's like almost all the way over. It's like almost 90 degrees. Here's another drifter. Oh, we got drifting crazy over here. We are drifting all over the place. The uh, the drifters have taken over the swap meet. Those uh, skylines are pretty sick. I gotta take my mask off. I'm dying. Oh, we got we had a collision and I didn't even get to see it. Can y'all do that again? <laughs> I didn't get that. For entertainment purposes only. Please. <laughs> oh man, that was cool. There you go. <laughs> They're hitting each other now. That's what I'm talking. I'm instigating. I'm instigating a demolition derby, guys. Oh look at the little cars coming in. Oh, this is awesome. I'm not gonna. That little car. People are drifting around the little car. Whoa. That's sweet. <laughs> Could you do it, Heinz? Oh, the lights. Look at the lights on that thing. You got a lot of control out of that drift car. Yeah, it's, all, it's not even steering. You don't have to use the radio thing. It's just all the operation. Really? <laughs> oh, that one's just doing donuts over there. That one slipped on a banana peel. <laughs> Oh, wreck, I got that one. Oh, no. I got the. Oh, no, broke the canards. We need a track. Oh, we got parts flying off now. Oh, shit. Oh, and then we hit a go kart. Have you ever had a, a drift car hit a go kart? He's looking at them. 
I just walked up on this deal, guys. This is this is Neil. I just bought the grave digger from him. I don't know if you remember that. He's about to get this fist scale. It's a HPI clone, you said? Yeah. HPI clone for a tracks for a spectrum transmitter and receiver. I'm not gonna lie. I just, I just picked up a, a dang it! I just picked up a spectrum transmitter receiver. God, that's a crazy deal. You're gonna have fun with that, dude. That's gonna be fun, and it runs. That one sounds like it's got a blown blown gear in the back. I gotta go find my son. I left him somewhere. Don't tell my wife. What? Hey, good job, dude. That's awesome. All right, guys. I might be dumb for doing this, but I actually already I already traded something. I just bought this truck. I traded that truck for this body. This is a Tesla Cybertruck body. I want to put it on something. I think it would be cool. It would be a cool a YouTube thing. So that body and 150 bucks for that truck. So I bought that truck for 100 bucks. So I made $50 and a Tesla body on it. But this truck has so much stuff on it. He did. I told him I really wanted the Bluetooth link. So he did let me take the Bluetooth link off. But after looking at it, it's got upgraded wheels and tires. Like, I think we both got super hooked up on it. But I did pretty good. I got the... Uh, Basically, I made $50, got a Traxxas Link, and the Cybertruck body on that trade. So, we're doing good here. Look, that's that's bothering Marco. Marco knows. <laughs> bothering Marco when he sees me getting these deals. He needs to be getting them, too. But... <laughs> so, we got... It's still going hard. Pretty happy about that deal. Cyber Cybertruck RC truck is coming to the channel. Guaranteed. All right, guys, the day's winding down. They're still going hard over there. I'm gonna show you our take today, what we've what we've scored today. I got the DX5C with the Spectrum receiver. Transmitter receiver, I know this isn't the receiver that came with it, but I traded this for a set of truck wheels and tires, 10 scale truck wheels and tires. I got to mount it up. He said I can give it to him after, after Southern Nats, so I'll mount those up at Southern Nats. So I essentially got that for a trade. I got these for a buck it's just a whole bunch of servo leads but they're male to male um or male male servo leads i just have to change out the ends but you can never go wrong with more of these cables like i use these all the time so for a dollar why not this was a dollar the green bits these green aluminum pieces you only want a dollar for to pick that up all the green stuff for the uh for the grave digger right there i could switch out these green for that i have another grave digger so i got this for two bucks all the paint look at that paint i got all that paint for 20 dollars. they're brand new in the package still this tesla body so you guys didn't get a good look at that trx4 that trx4 was basically a rusted up um, not really rusted up it was had some rust you know me and rust i don't really like it but it had a blown rear diff it has a uh uh vxl system in it and everything it was really nice actually you know what let's go we'll go take a look at it here in a little bit but i bought it for a hundred bucks and he basically traded to me he gave me 150 for it so i made 50 on it and the tesla body and he let me keep the uh the bluetooth module which is nice so and then i got this rc trailer this is rc four-wheel drive trailer i don't know if i overpaid for this or not there was another one at the meet for 50 bucks this one was in much better condition it had all the right stuff on it it looks like it's never been ran i'm gonna be using it for like pictures and stuff so i want it to be like new um, I bought this for 90. I think they go for about 200. So all in all, I got rid of my old Agama e-buggy. Um, I basically traded for all this because I still have the same amount of cash in my pocket, which is nice. So yeah, we did get, oh, and I got rid of the uh, the e-revo tires that had a rip in it. I got rid of them for 20 bucks, but yeah, we did pretty good guys. It's a great meet. I'm super stoked about it. All right, so here's that truck. I don't know if I showed you guys this in detail, but see, it is in the it's not in the best condition but it's not in bad condition looks like it has some titanium screws on it It has the vxl 3s system in it this is a new one you can tell because it's got the the uh capacitors on the back side this is a real trx4 you can tell with the uh the shifting servos here vxl vxl motor and then these wheels and tires aren't stock look at those those wheels are sick i saw those after i got rid of it um, but yeah, I got this truck and it had the Bluetooth module in the remote, which I took out whenever I sold it, but I bought this truck for a hundred bucks. It was, wasn't a bad deal at all. I'm glad I asked when I first saw it, I didn't even want to ask. I figured he was going to want a lot for it, but yeah, it's, uh, in great shape. Actually, is that, 
metal too? No, hope not. Otherwise, it's too late now. <laughs> Don't know if I got this table or not, but we're gonna get it again if we didn't. It's got a bunch, look at all these uh, RTR crawlers, only a hundred bucks. Man, that's a great deal. Got a whole bunch of stuff down here. Oh, that Kyosho, I think it's a B6. Those are not cheap at all. Super cool, look at the sweet pan cart. Looks good. I think we're gonna oh, we that mean There you go. Yeah, we're racing this afternoon. Look, we got tanks rolling in, guys. One day, guys, we'll, we'll get into the tank world. It's not yet. Super cool, man. Man, we have people flying. Hold on, one last thing. I, I saw this, the corner of my eye. We're gonna check this out. I almost bought one of these a while back. A Savage XL, here it is. No one wants a hundred bucks for it. This one right here. Okay. Savage. So I thought about look, this one's actually in really good shape for hundred bucks. That's not bad. Let's see what it looks like under the thing. I almost bought one of these a while back. Um oh, okay, there we go. So it wants a hundred bucks. Wow. Looks super clean. Tires look new. HPI Savage. This used to be the big T Max competitor. Uh, I think HPI. This was HPI's answer for the T Max. Hundred bucks. Do I want? Do I want that headache? Looks good. Body's not a bad shape. Look, we're calling BS on Neil. Neil said <laughs> that he got this this T Rex helicopter. It's a 450. Um, they. Oh, it's just a canopy. Okay, that's a clone apparently, but he got it for 30 bucks. This case alone is worth 30 bucks, guys. And he and he got that. You got that with it? He has a whole new frame. Yeah, we're we're calling BS, man. He didn't get it for that. Oh, we already we already saw the fifth scale. I shot that gyro in there. I'm gonna have TJ show me how to fly it. Hey, well that's a wrap, guys. It's all over. Check it out. No one else over there. I hope you liked this video, guys. I know this was in two parts. I Hopefully, I can get this in two parts. It might be three parts, but I got a that, This was an awesome, awesome swap meet. This is probably the best one I've been to in a while. Everyone was having fun. There were a lot of people, a lot of stuff. I did really great on the stuff that I got. Super excited about that, but I hope you liked this video, guys. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell, and you guys will see me next time. Later, guys.